I just built three business tools in under 10 minutes, landing pages, AI agents, data dashboards, all with Claude Opus 4.5 for free. And the crazy part, I'm doing it in a way that Anthropic is trying to shut down, but Google just opened the door and I'm about to show you exactly how to walk through it. All right, let's talk about what just happened in the AI world. Anthropic made a move. They locked down Claude code, said you can only use their model in authorized interfaces, translation, use our terminal, follow our rules, use it our way. And look, I get it from their side. They built the model. They want control. But here's the thing. Developers don't want to be told how to work. They want the best model in the best environment, the tools they're already using, the workflows they already built. And that's where this whole Google anti-gravity thing comes in. Because Google said, hey, we'll give you access to Claude Opus 4.5 through our system. No per token API fees, just your existing subscription. And it works inside real coding tools, not some locked down terminal. So today I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And we're building three real tools live. First, an AI lead generator, the kind of thing that replaces expensive landing page builders. Second, an internal knowledge agent, like having a company expert that actually cites sources. Third, a data to app pipeline. You paste a CSV, Claude builds you a dashboard, real stuff stuff you can use today. Let's start with what open code actually is. Open code is a bring your own model coding harness. Basically, it's a coding assistant that doesn't care which AI you use. You want Claude? Cool. You want GPT? Cool. You want Gemini? Also cool. It's model agnostic. The tool adapts to you, not the other way around. Now, Google anti-gravity is the bridge. It gives you identity-based access to Claude Opus through Google's infrastructure. No API keys, no per token anxiety just browser of it and you're done. And here's the kicker. Google wants this to be used. They're competing on distribution, not control. While Anthropic is building walls, Google is building bridges. That's the difference. One company wants you locked in, the other wants you productive. And for you as a developer or business owner, that means freedom. Freedom to choose your tools, freedom to build your way. Okay, let me show you the setup. This takes 60 seconds. I'm opening open code right now. Hit the command palette, type slash connect, select Google, choose anti-gravity, browser pops up, you authenticate, done, that's it. You're now running Claude Opus 4.5 inside a real IDE environment. No restrictions, no handcuffs. And before we jump into the builds, let me tell you why this matters for you. I want to mention something important. If you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like open code and anti-gravity, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we break down exactly how to use these cutting edge tools to grow your agency, your business, your entire operation. We're talking real automation, real results, link in the description. All right, back to the builds. Tool number one, AI lead generator. This is where it gets fun. I'm gonna ask Claude to build a landing page for the AI profit boardroom, something that converts, something that shows the amazing value of AI automation, something that explains all the benefits of our AI automation community to get more customers, leads and traffic. Watch this, I type the prompt, design a new landing page for the AI profit boardroom that converts visitors into members, show the value of AI automation, explain the benefits, make it clean, professional, and high converting. Claude starts writing, it's building the HTML, it's writing the copy, it's adding form logic, it's creating validation, all in real time. And look at this output, the headline grabs attention, the benefits are crystal clear, the call to action is strong, the form captures emails, this is production ready code, you could launch this today. Non-technical founders can copy this exact approach. You don't need to hire a developer. You don't need expensive tools. You just need Claude and a good prompt. This is the kind of thing that used to take days. Now it takes minutes. And the quality is better than most human written landing pages I've seen because Claude understands conversion principles. It understands user psychology. It understands what makes people click. Tool number two, internal knowledge agent. This is where Claude really shines. I'm going to upload some documents. Let's say it's our AI profit boardroom SOPs, our onboarding guides, our best practices, everything we teach inside the community. Now I'm asking Claude to create an internal Q&A agent, something that answers questions like a company expert, something that cites sources, something that actually helps people instead of just spitting out generic answers. This is what people wanted Claude code for, the ability to turn their knowledge into an intelligent assistant, but they wanted it without being locked into Anthropic's terminal. Watch Claude work, it's reading the documents, it's understanding the context, it's building the agent structure, it's creating response templates. And now I can ask it questions. Hey, how do we onboard new members to the AI Profit Boardroom? Claude answers with citations. 
with specific references to the documents with actual helpful information. This is huge for startups, for agencies, for anyone with internal documentation. You can build an onboarding bot, you can build an SOP assistant, you can build a client support co-pilot, and it's all powered by your actual knowledge, not some generic training data. Imagine having this for your business. New team member joins, they ask the agent. Client has a question, they ask the agent. You need to find that one process you documented six months ago, ask the agent. It's like having your best employee available 24 seven. Tool number three, data to app pipeline. This is the advanced demo. This is where you see the real power. I'm going to paste a CSV. Let's say it's data from our AI profit boardroom, member growth numbers, engagement metrics, content performance, the stuff we use to make decisions. I tell Claude, analyze this data and build me a UI to explore it. Add filters, add summaries, make it visual, make it useful. Claude goes to work. It's analyzing the data structure. It's identifying key metrics. It's building charts. It's creating interactive filters. It's adding summary statistics. And boom, I now have a custom dashboard. Built in minutes, no code, no complexity. Just a prompt and Claude's reasoning. Custom analytics, dashboards, data visualization, tools, business intelligence platforms. You just built one with a conversation. You could use this for sales dashboards, for influencer analytics, for product pricing analysis, for anything where you have data and you need insights. And the best part, no SDK lock-in, no vendor dependencies. You own the code, you control the tool. Now let's talk about the comparison. Claude code versus open code plus anti-gravity. Editor freedom. Claude code says no. Open code says yes. Subscription reuse. Claude code says no. Open code says yes. Vendor lock-in, Claude code is high, open code is none, IDE experience, Claude code is limited, open code is full, risk of access loss, Claude code is high, open code is low, the pattern is clear, one option gives you control, the other takes it away, and as someone who's built a seven-figure agency, I can tell you this, control matters, flexibility matters, the ability to use the best tool for the job matters, here's the big picture. The AI market is splitting right now. You've got closed ecosystems on one side. You've got open intelligence pipes on the other. Anthropic is betting on control. Google, OpenAI, and others are betting on distribution. And developers, developers will always choose the tool that gives them leverage. Think about it. Why would you limit yourself to one terminal when you could use any IDE? Why would you accept restrictions when you could have freedom? Why would you risk losing access when you could have stability? You wouldn't, nobody would. This isn't just about coding tools. This is about the future of AI development. Do we want walled gardens or do we want open access? Do we want companies telling us how to build or do we want to build our way? The answer is obvious. And if you want to dive deeper into this stuff, if you want to learn how to save time and automate your entire business with AI tools, like what we just covered, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. We break down these tools. We give you the prompts. We show you the workflows. We help you implement link in the description and if you want the full process the sops and over a hundred ai use cases like this one join the ai success lab is our free ai community links in the comments and description you'll get all the video notes from there plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with ai real people real results real automation so here's what you should do next if you're tired of being told how you're allowed to build try open code plus anti-gravity I'll drop the exact prompts and builds in the description. You can copy everything we just did. You can adapt it to your business. You can start automating today. And look, I know this was a lot, but that's the point. These tools are powerful. These workflows are game changing and you deserve to know about them. You deserve to have access to the best AI models in the best environments. You deserve freedom in how you build. Comment below if you're going to try this. Let me know what you build. Share your wins. Ask your questions. Julian reads every single comment. And we're here to help you succeed with AI automation. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.